So hello everyone, it's Shelby Daddy 7 here and today we're going to do an almost full face of Charlotte Tilbury. So I got a couple of things that aren't Charlotte Tilbury, like I don't own one of her concealers so I'm not going to use one of those obviously. And then I don't own one of her like contour kits or whatever. So obviously I'm not going to be using that either but I did get this eye quad, this is the second eye product I bought from her. The first one I didn't like so I'm hoping I like this one even though I heard this was the one that was like the worst out of all of them. Of course it would be the blue one the only one I actually would want from her. But you know I went ahead and got it. I caught it when it was on sale so I didn't pay the full price for this. I think I got this as Burdock and Goodman when it was on sale for like $39. It's normally like $54 or something crazy like that but I was like I'm not paying that because based upon that huge $65 palette I bought from her that I couldn't stand I was like she might not be for me but I'm like since we got the smaller one, I figured I'd take a chance and try it out. So, I'm using my Scott Barnes number 62 brush. This brush is currently sold out. This is a really nice brush and it's 20% off. So, I had them give me the email notification. And hopefully, like, when it comes back in stock, they'll let me know. Because it's like, I actually really like this brush. So, I'm just going to take this navy blue shade and start going in the crease. Okay, so it's non-existent. Yeah, I see why people don't like this palette. Because, as you can see, I just put that on. And I have on the Hourglass eyeshadow primer. And it doesn't smell like it's building up nicely. I don't know if I should like set the primer or whatever because this is not a vibe for me. And I have to go to the store and do a wear test on another product. I'm sure you all will be excited to see just like you were excited about this eyeshadow primer to see. So, so far this is not looking good. I might take another brush and just dip into it on the other eye and see if we can do better. But since I'm already with this one, I'm like, we're just going to stick with it. But it's doing better when I put it on the tip of the brush as opposed to, you know. So I think I might just stick with doing that. I might just try the uh, Mark of Jacobs, the crease brush on the other side of the eye. Because I'm not necessarily feeling the way it's looking with this one. And I already spot concealed and put on primer because I don't have a primer by Charlotte Tilbury. And like I said, I don't have concealer. So I wouldn't have had a concealer to spot treat with anyway. Or to put on any fine. So yeah, I'm not liking this quality either. So apparently Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows just aren't for me. I personally think they are not that great and i'm feeling like they're really overhyped because everyone i've tried from her i've like deeply been disappointed by so yeah these are not a vibe and i'm not liking them all right all right well we got that elephant out of the room even though i feel like i shouldn't be surprised by it so during the um sale you also my luxury haul so this is just one of the things i got in it i got um the con i got the highlighter from there and then i got the um what is that powder? The um, airbrush powder. I finally got a full size one. I had a sample from Sephora that I got like a million years ago. I'm gonna just go ahead and do what I did from the other eye to this eye. Because it seems like it's working better when I use the tip of it as opposed to just, you know. Too bad there's not a brown here I can do with. I might just go into crease with the, um, what do you call it, shade later, the um, bronzer shade and make that work for me. The bronze I'm gonna use is from Vesca. Um, I got it a while ago i think i put that on my luxury haul i don't remember so don't quote me but um yeah, i'm gonna go ahead and just use that bronzer today i was gonna use it with the Le Mer thing but that's okay i can just reuse it in the Lemire Mer thing i might use the mark jacobs one in that one i don't know depending on how i feel i'm trying to test out all the new bronzers i have just so i can try them out but yeah um i'm gonna just go ahead and keep blending this out Y'all, I feel like it's not giving any like, real color payoff, and then it just looks like I look like I have raccoon eyes right now, and it's not cute. Like, so yeah, this is not. Now I see why people don't like this. It's not a vibe at all. I'm hoping like the blue shimmer will save this look somewhat, and if I put like brown bronzer in the crease, I can, you know, somewhat save it. But like right now, it's just, it's just apparent that Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows just are not for me because I think. Like, this is terrible. Just like I thought the last palette I tried from her was terrible. I don't know what it is about her palettes. I just think they're terrible. I mean, sorry if you're a Charlotte Tilbury stan when it comes to eyeshadows, but I, she just doesn't do it for me. It's, it, it's not a vibe. And I'm going to need her to not keep making eyeshadows if they're going to perform like this. So, yeah. Um, let me see. I take this Dose of Colors Clean brush and try to go around the edges of this and try to make it look halfway presentable. Because I don't feel like they went on smoothly. And then I feel like my eyes just look you know crazy and they don't really look like navy blue i feel like they look like a really weird like just dark charcoaly like grayish like black or something i don't feel like this looks like navy blue i don't know but it's just not a vibe at all but like i said i'm gonna see what i can do and save it because right now it's looking real 
just hot mess um i don't like this eye look so far at all please god let the shimmer stay because i heard people talk about those a lot too but i don't know i feel like i haven't found anything from her that i truly like other than like her powder and i don't even think that's that great like i feel like the new one that um pat mcgrath came out with is better and i think i said that in the video too so i'm just like mm, i'm not feeling anything except about anything <coughs> this woman does and i really want to but i'm like i just i don't i'm not seeing it i'm really <coughs> not seeing it sorry y'all my mom's got like a cold so that's what you're hearing in the background it's not that big a deal to me because you know She's had it for like, I think like a week now. So that's like, she went out grocery shopping with my cousin and like after that, she just came back with a cold. So I don't know if they had, um, had something in the store or because she hadn't been outside in a really long time, that's what happened. Okay, yeah, it's looking a little bit better with the shimmer, but not like much. I'm gonna try to get the bronzer in there and save it a little bit. I think about putting a little bit of like one of the champagne colors on top of the blue and see if that'll help it. Because this is just looking like really sheer and it's not giving me the opacity that I want from a shimmer either. So, yeah, I'm just... It's just become apparent to me that I should just stop trying to try Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadows because she can never seem to make any that I like. The navy blue in here is terrible. And then um, it looks like it's fading into nothing. And then this blue shimmer is giving me the kind of pop I like on the eye and it's just okay Charlotte Tilbury is just not for me when it comes to um eyeshadow guy like she can make me a couple of face things but like eyes absolutely not no I just need to skip out because see I feel like my lid you can see the color underneath it and I feel like you shouldn't be able to see that especially since this is a like a dark shadow maybe i should pack it on instead of like trying to swipe it across and then maybe i'll like it better okay it's looking a little bit better when you pat it on but not much and i feel like i had to put on way too much just to get the type of opacity i like so it's gonna be a no for me that was just the ice machine you guys it's fine and then i feel like it's like fading away in the um crease this navy blue color so yeah i'm not impressed with this palette at all I'm going to put this shade in the inner corner and maybe this shade will mix them together a little later. But we're going to be done with the eyes for now. And this component feels like really plasticky and kind of cheap. So for all the money she makes you pay, I feel like it should feel better than it does. Um, okay, moving along. Um, I have the Airbrush Flawless Filter. I have the shade 13 Neutral. I wanted to get 12.5 in the full size, but I've got like three or four of these little samples. So I was like, I'll use them up first. And that'll kind of help me really determine if I think it's even worth buying. Because I feel like when it comes to complexion for brown people she doesn't necessarily do that great a job this is what the color i have looked like but mm, i just did two pumps of that so i'm going to start off with a brush and then i guess i'll go on with a um sponge for the rest of it and see how we feel but mm, it's just i don't know i haven't found any like really wild products in her line i feel like everybody talks about her so much and tries to like make her seem like she's so great but it's just like i haven't tried anything that's like been truly exceptional to me and i feel mean saying that but like that doesn't make it any less true so i'm just like hmm, you know if that's what you if this is what you come with then it's like her lipsticks i don't really like those either you guys to be honest like so it's like i haven't found a true like super exciting standout product from charlotte tilbury that i like and i feel awful saying that but that doesn't make it any less true only thing i have really like is the flawless filter and i'm pretty the airbrush powder i mean not like the flawless filter in the jar i got i decluttered mine and sold it on makari because i don't like that either like i was like i don't even know what the purpose of the product was because it's like it doesn't really give you any coverage it's supposed to give you like some random glow and it's like Yes, I want my oily, acne-prone, you know, dark-spotted skin to glow. Like, no, I don't. <laughs> I want to get coverage. So, products like that don't work for people like me. And it's like, I don't really feel like it would have been good used as a highlighter or something like this. What is the purpose of this product for me? So, if you have skin like mine, I wouldn't recommend that product to you. Unless you don't mind, like, the flaws showing through, even though you have coverage on. If you're one of those people like to go to the grocery store and have, like, mild coverage, then I guess it would work for you. But... I wouldn't just recommend it off point. And then you see, like, I feel like my face looks orange with this foundation. on. Like, look at my nose. It looks orange. So I was like, for neutral, this is pulling quite orange. 
I don't know. I hate to feel like I'm just sitting here complaining about it, but I mean, like, that's how I genuinely feel about these products. I'm just like, it's not the formula isn't nice, but I mean, I don't want to look orange. And I know I can just put the Elf two dollar um yellow one in there, but it's like when you own as many foundations as I do, it's like I don't have to do that. There's plenty of other ones, so why should I make this effort with yours? Especially when I have other ones that I like way better. Like, I'm obsessed with the Cover FX Power Plant and the Matching Concealer. Like, if y'all saw my picture of the video for the Morte palette, like, my face looked flawless in that picture. And I was just using Cover FX products, and they're way cheaper than her products. So, the fact that I got to do all that, and in order to make it work for me, it's like, no, sis. I, I really don't want to. I don't have to. So, we're going to use Giorgio Armani's um, Luminous Silk Concealer along with the Power Fabric. Power Fabric is my favorite. But I'm going to start off with Power Fabric, and then I'll probably highlight the face with Luminous Silk, and then I'll go over it with this and Luminous Silk combined again for the um, under eye. But I'll start off putting the under eye on because that's the one that's going to take the longest. And I absolutely adore this conceal. And I'm hoping it'll help with, like, the orangey coloring situation. I'm bringing out more of the yellow undertone in my skin. So, we'll see. But this is by far one of my all-time favorite concealers. And this was like the very first Giorgio Armani product I tried. So, I was like, if all his stuff is like this, then, you know, I'll try some more. Because <laughs> it's really nice. But this concealer doesn't really give that much coverage. That's why I'm fine with just highlighting on the face. And y'all know I don't like to highlight all expensive concealers. But since I had to buy it for review and then um, I felt like it didn't get as much coverage as I liked. But it's called Luminous Silk. So, I feel like that tells you it's not... It, that's why I wasn't expecting too much from it. And I knew I could combine with this Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. Just have a nice little um, glowy doing, dewy under eye and still have the coverage I needed. So that's why I went ahead and just took the plunge. And I caught this on sale too. But I think you all saw that again in the luxury haul. I'll try to maybe link it up here. Or hopefully it'll be in the end card or something. I don't know. But got my Marc Jacobs the Conceal Brush. Because everything is dull. And then whatever it is for his brushes. Y'all, um, are any of you all in the states that they took the, um, hold off as far as the quarantine goes? Because I'm just curious. Have you been out? Are those kind of, like, grocery shop like they were letting you do for the last couple of months? Or have y'all, like, been out? Because I heard they opening, like, airports and stuff, too. So, is anybody going anywhere? Or, like, are y'all trusting that everything is, like, somewhat okay now to do stuff? Or are y'all just like, no, we're not doing that. I'm not trusting it. Because... I personally feel that way. Like I like I told you all in another video, like I heard Chicago still be rumored to be let out on the 19th. I'm like, but I'm still not going anywhere to like June. I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to do what I normally do, which take myself to work and go home. And go grocery shopping when I get off work. So that way when the weekend comes, I don't have to try to, you know, go out in the elements. And I, sh and I can just stay at home and film for y'all. Because... I'm filming today on Sunday at like, I think it's 9 or 30. I got up at like, like the crack of dawn. Like I got off work at like 12, but I didn't get home to like, I think one something, like close to two o'clock. And then I um ended up um waking up at like three something in the morning, just randomly. And then um here we are now um at like nine and I'm like filming. I showered and everything. Then after I do my videos, well, two of the videos, then I'm going to go to the grocery store so I can give you a wear test on the new product that I bought from Sephora during the sale. And I'm so happy it premiered during the sale. You all probably know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Hourglass Setting Spray. So that's why we're not going to set our face in this video because I got to use that in the next video. So, And then I'll do an updated wear test later on in the day or whatever. Crap, I forgot to put the Luminous Silk on that. That's okay. We'll just put the Luminous Silk on the cheeks since I forgot to put it with the rest of the under eye makeup. But... You know, it's fine. This is supposed to be a decent coverage foundation, so. We'll see. I don't remember. It's been a while. Plus, I'm going to, like, set my face with setting powders and all that, so that should help. Um, Now, I was trying to decide if I should use a foundation powder on top of it. I don't know because um, I don't own a Charlotte Tilbury um, foundation powder. I just own this airbrush um, flawless um, finish powder in the color dark, of course. But um, I'm going to... I want a cream contour, but it's like I didn't bring the cream contour in here. And I'm trying not to use a whole bunch of stuff that wasn't, like, you know, 
Charlotte Tilbury related. So I already have like two things. So I tried to keep it at, well, I have three things technically be called my eyeshadow primer, but I'm like, I'm just trying to keep it at a minimum of not using a whole bunch of other stuff from other brands. So I think I'm going to skip cream contouring today, even though I really like to, and it's kind of saddening my heart not to, but you know, we're just going to get over it and move on with life. Plus I want to try this new bronzer and it would help if I don't have a cream contour underneath it. So I don't know how long it'll last on its own. Um, so after I've done that random rant, let me start putting a concealer on my cheeks. And then I will um, work upward toward the under eye. But I'm going to use the brush on the under eye first and then come back with the um, And this on out and the eyes are starting to grow on me now that the face is coming together i think sometimes like when my foundation and stuff isn't on i'll be like this eye looks like the atrocious and then when, like everything comes together it's like oh okay it doesn't look as bad as i thought it did but i mean like it's still not looking the best like i still feel like the um navy is patchy over the top and i still um feel like what do you call it um the foundation looks kind of um, orange even though i did do that so i'm hoping like the setting powders and stuff will make it look nicer and then when i go out in the sunlight it'll look totally different than it does in the house because like i told y'all i don't always necessarily like to light in my kitchen but you know you um work where you can since you know i have to work around a whole bunch of stuff that y'all don't even realize um so i have this charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless powder i'm gonna put that underneath the eye and then we're gonna set the rest of the face with oh sorry this um sicily what is this sicily um loose face powder I have the shade number four. That's the darkest one they make. Uh, and as y'all can see, it's not that dark. So I might end up, like I said, having put a foundation powder on top. But we're just going to start with this for now. I forgot to bring the brush in here that I use for underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to take a random um, eyeshadow brush and just dust some underneath that. So I'll probably take this Alamar Cosmetics one and just dust that underneath the eye real quick. The funny thing is I wanted to grab their Alamar Cosmetics um, setting powder um, brush put on these eye and i might go off camera and do that just because i want to make sure the look looks as nice as it can especially since i don't necessarily like the way the eyes are looking right now so matter of fact let me go do that real quick and then i'll be right back matter of fact no i no no i'm gonna just use this um highlighter brush instead because i don't feel like going through all that i was but then i was like mm, no so and if you all remember in the haul video like that um this brush I mean, it's um, Sicily powder, like, it showed up and, like, somebody had taken the top off it. And I'm like, I feel like they did that like, deliberately. Like, why? I don't know. But it's like, it, the top shouldn't have been loose if this was supposed to be a brand new product. Why was it, like, twisted off and it was, like, powder all over the thing? And y'all know I did a whole rant about it because I was not appreciating the feeling it because this powder is quite expensive. And I feel like for that price, I shouldn't be having anything of the sort like that happen. So, this is the color it looks like. As y'all can see, that's not really going to work that well for me, but... I'm going to start off with that, and then I'll go off with the Charlotte Tilbury. Maybe all over the face. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, it's not looking as bad as I thought, but I still feel like on my skin tone, it should be, like, way darker than this. Or maybe it'll help the yellowness, I mean, help the orangeness of the foundation dissipate somewhat. Looks like it's smooth enough. Picking pretty nicely. And I'm just gonna set it all over the face. I brought a setting powder in here to set that portion of my face, but I'm gonna um see how this works out. Then I'll probably spray the face and then go in with the Charlotte Tilbury one afterwards. And then my bronze and the other stuff and then spray my face again. You all know I like to set all my powders in. So I might do it after. I might do it before. We'll see. Yeah, but I feel like the orange just is not going away. And I just look orange. So I bought this based upon, of course, Mel Thompson talking about how wonderful that Sicily powder was. But I think she usually uses it for like the buffing technique or whatever. So I don't know if I'm gonna like it as much as she does just because she uses it to buff and I don't use mine for that. Um, but I'm gonna take my e.l.f. um Nubella Noir brush 
and start with the Charlotte Tilbury one all over the face and then I'll take that Wet n Wild highlighter brush from Bretman Rock Collection and use that underneath the eyes to set that particular spot of my face. So I'm just lightly dusting this all over the face. Since it's in the end, this will be a, a finishing setting type powder. I'm still trying to decide if I should get the Chanel powder because I heard like it's supposed to be discontinued and so it's kind of a new formula of it. And Mel Thompson was talking about it. And I was like, I don't know. But they have a 25% off sale going on at Burdock Goodman right now. So I might go ahead and try to get it. The only thing is they usually don't have Chanel on sale. Like Chanel would be like, no girl, we're not going on sale. You just need to buy it at the price or leave it alone. And so I just left them alone for the longest time. My child, please. Like, you can have a sale just like everybody else does. So what do you think this is? So, I think the perfume is going on sale. I think it's just, um, they're like makeup, they're going to go on sale, but don't quote me, so I don't, because I don't honestly know. Okay, so I'm feeling like the face looks a little more balanced now that I used her powder on top of the Sicily powder. Um, I'm going to throw some of these boxes away because I was tired of having a whole bunch of boxes around, but I wanted to show you all the boxes of each thing. Not that they don't all look the same because they do, but you know. Um, let's spray the face now that we put all this powder on. This is just my, um, what do you call it? Um, my four spray beauty spray. As y'all know, I told y'all I hate the sprayer and Kathleen Knight was talking about how horrible it was. So I just made sure I put it in a different thing. The only thing is I don't ever remember the name of it now because I put it in a different container. But, you know, four spray beauty only has one spray, so I figured it should be easy. I mean, other than the highlight amount of gas and when they had that one too, but, you know. That one just came out recently, so I and it's not orange, so I figured process of elimination. If they only have two, you clearly know which one that one is. I hope I didn't spray too much spray on my face. But I really want to get the cakiness of this down. So. Hmm. Okay, so I have a little blush and a um bronze i have a blush from charlotte tilbury but i don't have a bronzer i'm gonna put on the bronzer first and i'm gonna put on the blush and then we'll put on the highlight and we sh and lipstick and we should be done i'm not putting on the mascara because of course y'all know i always have other eye looks to do so i have to do the other eye look um after this video is up and then um we do that but this is the vesca kissed by with kiss by vesca beauty soft matte bronzing powder i have the color bali if i remember correctly because it doesn't say on the outside. Uh, yeah, Kissed by Bali. So, that's the one Jackie and I use. So, of course, you know, Jackie and I are the exact same color. So, whichever color she buys, I just make sure I buy that same color to make sure I don't, like, screw up. Um, so, this is what it looks like. It's kind of dark, though. It's actually pretty dark. But, um, you know, um, I know it'll work for me if it'll work for her. So, I'm going to go ahead and take my um, Jumoko brush. I actually really like this brush for bronze, like I told you all a while ago. So, It has a nice smell to it. It kind of smells a little bit like the butter bronzer, but not as like you know potent, if you will. Let me get a little bit more because I don't want to have too much at one time. Be out here looking crazy. You know? This brush is really soft and nice, and applies bronzer really nice. And I caught it on sale for like three dollars, so I'm super excited about that. I don't really use a powder brush that much though. I'm like I need to pull that out and start using that one. But I was just using the Nabella Norman because I got that set in recently. And this was the brush that stood out to me. I didn't really like the eye brushes that they had, but the face brushes are pretty okay. Like, I would consider buying this one at, I think, 6 or $7 because that's at the normal price, if I remember correctly. So, it's not like it's super expensive. It's just, you know, for $3, I, if I had known what I know now, I would have bought, like, a backup of it. But, you know, I have other bronzer brushes that I'm sure I will use. Like, I usually use the KVD Vegan Beauty double-ended one because that way I only have one blush, brush to wash when I put on my blush and my bronzer. So I'll probably most likely go back to that one, but I'm liking this one right now. So we're just using it. As you can see, I look nice and bronzed. This is $30 on their website. And um, I think Jackie Anna has a code for 10% off. 
I believe she said that in the last video she did sponsored with them. So I think it's just edges and then you get 10% off of this bronzer and they're doing free shipping right now. So I would definitely recommend you get it now. They have a new bronze. They have a new priming, like glowing primer or something I was thinking about trying out. So if you all want to see that, let me know down below. Think about picking up while they still have the free shipping before things go back to normal. And, you know, everybody's charging an arm and a leg for everything. So like I said, let me know down below and I'll definitely grab me while they have free shipping because for the longest time I didn't buy it because I think shipping was five dollars on top of that but you know while the getting is good I'm we should get um next I'm going to my blush the blush I have from Charlotte Tilbury is called sex on fire again auntie Jackie put it on one time and I was like excuse me ma'am what is that so this is what it looks like I think it's a pretty cool one I don't think it's gonna match our first eye look but I know it's gonna match the second one I put on that's why I'm okay with putting it on right now It's a nice, pretty, like, very multi-tone type situation. Now, I do not own the Charlotte Tilbury um, lip liner. I know it's shocking because everybody talks about those, too. But I'm not really big on lip liners. Like, that's one thing I don't mind buying at the drugstore. Like, some things I don't mind buying at the drugstore. Like, I'll buy a mascara at the drugstore in a minute. I'll buy a lip liner at the drugstore in a minute. Um, um, but some things I just want to buy that's high-end, like, eyeshadow i would never buy the drugstore it's as if unless it's uh, i'm sorry there are exceptions if it's la girl i'll buy it because la girl is amazing but for the most part i haven't had any drugstore eyeshadows i really like other than wet and wild and s and um them elf is okay somewhat but you know i'm not like super obsessed with them either i got this holiday magic star highlighter from charlotte tilbury it was on sale at um where's that place called um Nordstrom because it was a Nordstrom exclusive and they had a sale for 25% off and I grabbed it because I remember when it first came out I wanted it but it never showed up as four and then I found out it was a Nordstrom exclusive and I'm not one who likes to buy makeup from a whole bunch of different like big retailers so I wasn't like oh yes I have to get it I thought it was pretty but I was like I'm not obsessed to the point where I have to buy it like just go get it from Nordstrom because once all the like high-end makeup brands started having I mean high-end stores started having 25% off sales and I was like yeah okay I'll get it so this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, it's a pretty peachy goldish type shade. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it on my face. I'm gonna use this Scott Barnes number 64 brush. I think this one's out of stock too. So I'm like, all the brushes I like are currently out of stock from him. While he's having 20% off there. I should have bought it when he had his 25% off birthday sale. Oh Lord, okay. I didn't know I had picked up that much on this brush and it was gonna apply like that. But yeah, that's fine. Once I spray the face, we have a setting spray. We should be fine. Hold on. So. Mm -hmm. Get a little cupid bow action going on here. Like, yeah. Cupid bow. Come through. Shine. Shine bright like a diamond. Cupid bow. Oh, I did announce the giveaway winner today. I meant to do it yesterday, but I ended up getting called into work and I wasn't expecting to work Saturday, but um, I ended up having to. So I was just like, ugh. So then I was like, I'm not gonna feel like trying to deal with a giveaway winner today. So I wanted to do it when I knew I didn't have to go to work and they require us to take one day off if we work. Like every day you have to take off like one day out of the week so you can like recoup and then you can come back to work Monday. So since I worked Friday and Saturday, even if they wanted me to come in, I can't because... You have to have the one day of recouping. So I was like, I'll recoup with my um makeup and my giveaways and my Instagram picture. So I have to upload an Instagram picture today. I did upload um a IG video today. I don't know if it's going up yet or not because it takes forever. This is April the 3rd, I believe. No, sorry. It's May the 3rd today when I'm filming this video. God only knows when you will see it. You probably won't see this. Maybe it's like the end of May. I don't know. I know everybody's always talking about this eye quad and all this other stuff, so that's why I'm not in a rush to get it up because I'm like, it's not like it, we haven't already seen all this information from other people who were on it as soon as um the Charlotte Tilbury quads came out. But because I didn't like the Icon palette, I wasn't about to rush to go get that palette. But I did want to try the blue, and I was curious, and so I have tried it, and you know, I you heard my thoughts. So um, I might do an update on the wear of this makeup because I didn't do an update when I initially tried this foundation. I can link that um up in the cards above as well, but you know so this is pretty much the finished face we need to go ahead and put our lip on so again another <laughs> product that jackie said was good from this brand that i went ahead and tried because she said it was good what well, is um the 
kissing falling from the lipstick tree lipstick i have the color hefburn honey that's when i saw her with and i was like oh that looks nice it was a nice of course peachy nude we all know auntie jackie loves her peachy nude so you see what it looks like i think it's a pretty color and i actually like audrey hefburn so i was happy it's called hefburn honey i love breakfast at tiffany's and it was another movie she had where she um this art thief was trying to steal from her dad or whatever and it turns out the art her dad was making was was selling like fake art or whatever i don't remember the name of that but i like her in sabrina as well so i i'm a charlotte i'm a mm, audrey hepburn fan but um funny thing is she died when i was like in like middle school i didn't know who she was so i didn't get to like appreciate her till after you know she had been dead for a while and I watched Breakfast at Tiffany's and Sabrina and all those movies. Cause I'm a Sabrina, I knew about was the remake of Harrison Ford. And then I found out that the original one had Humphrey Bogart in it. And I like Humphrey Bogart as well. So there's some old movies I like and then there's some English movies that I like. Like I really like Pride and Prejudice. But I only like the one with Colin Firth. Like that is the only Pride and Prejudice I've seen that I like. The one with Colin Firth. I really like Jane Austen stuff when it comes to um British movies. Okay. Trying to finish line our lips, y'all. I feel like they feel a little dry, so hopefully this um lipstick is a little bit hydrating. Oh, and I just used um the MAC Cool It Pencil and Whirl that I got during the 21 Days of Beauty sale. I was going to do a haul about that, but I just ended up scrapping that idea just because i was so tired and plus i kept asking y'all if y'all wanted it and nobody said anything but in all fairness i don't remember if i've put up those videos yet or not so anyway we're skipping it so it doesn't matter um So this lipstick looks okay. I mean, it's a nice color. I feel like it looks like commuted with the eye look I have because it's so, you know, pow in your face. But, you know, I had one more that um I could have used, but you've seen that in the video before. So I was like, I'm going to use this one to call it a day. But um, well, this is our finished face of Charlotte Tilbury. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, y'all are diamonds. I'll try to do a check-in. I don't know if you really care about a check-in for the foundation, but I figured we can do a check-in for the bronzer as well as the setting spray. But that's going to be a whole other video in and of itself. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, y'all are diamonds. Bye. Okay, everybody. So it's update time. Um, It is, I want to say, like, eight something. I still have the Charlotte Tilbury full face on obviously because we're doing the setting spray situation um as you see my lipstick is gone though um my boyfriend's downstairs making dinner so as you can see the background has changed too because when i started this video i was at home now i'm at my grandmother's house but this is what our face is looking like look at all the oil on my nose it looks quite gross it doesn't look this bad in real life now i see what people say about the lighting because lighting is making me look like super oily but in reality the only thing that's really like oily is like my nose but this glam core thing is making me look just a whole hot mess anyway i y'all know i had this on from like 10 to like well now so it's been quite a while um as you can see the bronzer is still popping charlotte's blush is still there a little bit i feel like the highlighter disappeared then again i'm oily as hell because so maybe it's not i don't know um anyway but i'm kind of feeling this setting spray i don't know i thought it was supposed to soft focus and blur and i don't feel like it's doing that so I'm just kind of like, hmm. And on top of that, it's like 48 bucks. So y'all know I'm just like, hmm, that price though. This eyeshadow, it's turning out a lot better than it did once I put on my foundation stuff. I still don't like the way that navy blended. I don't think it's a good navy shade. The shimmers are fine. You have to like build it up though quite a bit in order to get the opacity I have right now. So that's not a vibe. I'm not going to do the other eye look um that I said I was going to do just because, you know, I don't feel like it. I'm going to do the part two of the Sephora haul instead. So when I get done talking to y'all about this, we're going to go ahead and skip to part two of this four haul. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so this setting spray, we're going to have to try it a couple more times. But right now, I don't feel like it's soft-focused anything. And my nose is still oily like all other setting sprays. So I'm not, like, super impressed to the point where I'm like, yes, we need it. It's just okay. I'm going to, um, 
bad lit against the um tatcha one just because i want to try that out and see how that works out but um you know um right now uh i don't necessarily think it's worth the 48 bucks if you picked it up during a sale then maybe it's worth it but i don't i don't feel like it's doing anything exceptional to my face but i need to try it with some foundations i actually like i have on a full face of charlotte tilbury and although her foundation is okay i don't feel like it's an exceptional foundation so that might be why i'm feeling like that too because i feel like see as y'all can see my pores very well on both sides and that hydro blurring um primer that i use from um dermalogica normally works way better than this so that's another reason i'm just kind of like hmm, is it this foundation or what um but yeah so that's my final thoughts on this setting spray um if you caught it on sale good job but if you didn't i'm not necessarily gonna recommend it you spend 48 bucks on this because i don't think it's that great it's nice but i it's one of the few things from hourglass i would say is not worth the money in my opinion but anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Remember y'all are diamonds. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.